Terrence, how you doing, man? Mm, not, really. not your best day, huh? Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and protect your identity unless your rear end is known to the whole world. <laughs> if you look right here, what we have on this nice gentleman is a nasty abscess. And actually this looks kind of like a carbuncle, but I'm concerned most that this is a pylonidal cyst. And it's a little bit low to be a pylonidal cyst, but it's still possible. So, Terrence, you were telling me this started hurting just a few days ago, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you never had anything like this before? No. So the likelihood that this could be a pylonidal cyst is actually low. So more than likely is, is that this is just a regular carbuncle or an abscess that's formed, and we're going to drain this today. Now, if this were to return soon, well, then we'd be more suspicious of a pylonidal cyst. <clears throat> diabetes for a long time right yeah okay let's do a little packing okay we got the pus out of there now we're going to pack you with some iodoform gauze and uh put you on antibiotics mm -hmm. give you something for pain hi dr gilmore fans this is watson i've been doing some editing lately for the channel and i was surprised to discover that dr gilmore has his own brand of multivitamins i'm really into vitamins and supplements for sports and he was kind enough to send me a sample to try for myself, so I'm going to review them today. The multivitamin is called Meta 7, because it has 7 vitamins. Makes sense? I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the 7 ingredients, and then tell you about my experience with it this past week. So, I intentionally avoided Dr. Gilmore's and others' testimonials, because I wanted to do my own research, and approach it with an open mind. Number 1. B12. B12 is in a lot of energy drinks and supplements, including 5-hour energy. Almost 40% of people are B12 deficient. It's known to provide a boost of energy. There are four different types of B12, and they're not all equal. The one you'll find most often in supplements and energy drinks is called cyanocobalamin. I think I'm saying that right. It's easily and cheaply synthesized, but the catch is it has a cyanide molecule attached to it that your body has to detach and process before you can get to the good stuff. It's a very small amount of cyanide, but it's still your body has to expend resources and energy to get rid of it, so it seems like if there was a better alternative, you might as well go with that, which is what Dr. G did. Meta 7 has the more stable and bioavailable methylcobalamin, which also happens to be quite a bit more expensive to make, but I'm going to say it's probably worth it. B6 is a nice complement to B12. It helps with neurotransmitters, mental health, libido, your sleep-wake cycle, appetite regulation. It's a good one. On to vitamin D. It's thought that almost a billion people in the world are vitamin D deficient. We're built to make it from the sun, so it's a lot harder to get from food and supplements. People with darker skin and the elderly are at higher risk of being vitamin D deficient. Magnesium. So the first three might have seemed like obvious additions to a multivitamin, but magnesium seems to be highly underrated for how important it is. From an athlete's perspective, the benefits that stand out to me are muscle and nerve function, metabolism, and protein synthesis. Chromium. This one's super important too, and I think often overlooked, but you only need small amounts of it. I feel like chromium is one of those synergy minerals that plays well with others. 
It also tends to be pricey and hard to get from food. Broccoli is probably the best source of it, but to get to your daily value, you'd have to eat something like seven cups of broccoli. That's a lot of broccoli, even if you like broccoli, which I do, but I'm not eating that much of it. The next two ingredients don't have a daily value assigned to them yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if alpha lipoic acid became much more popular in the near future. It's an antioxidant found in and made by the body and is in just about every cell. It attacks free radicals, and unlike vitamin C, which is another great antioxidant, and is water soluble, alpha lipoic acid is water and fat soluble, so it's used all over. And last but not least, coenzyme Q10, which helps in metabolism to convert food to energy. It's supposed to help immune function, increase male fertility, and it's even being evaluated as part of treatment for Parkinson's disease. So yeah, check out the description. I'm sure there's a link down there. Thanks for watching, and uh, you know, sorry I didn't have any gross pimple popping for you in this video, but we've got plenty in others, so subscribe and check it out. See you next time. Watson out.